Is it okay to sell the dream while you're living the nightmare? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. That's not you being a phony. That's not you being fake. That's not you uh, faking it until you make it, right? Which a lot of people think is, you know, I got to fake it till I make it. It's really, I don't believe it's any of those things. I think it's you being locked into where you're going. I remember in the beginning of business when I had landed one of the biggest recruits of my career, right? And I remember, the, I remember the phone call. I had gotten her business card. I called her and I said, hey, Ethel. Her name was Ethel Rucker. I said, Ethel, how are you? This is Jay. And she's like, oh, hey, Jay. Yeah, and she was in real estate. And, uh, and I remember I said, how's business going? I know for most realtors, you're either killing it or there's a chance you're getting killed, one of the two. Mm-hmm. And her exact words were, oh, my gosh, it's terrible. To be honest, it's terrible. How about you? And my response was, oh my gosh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. We, we just had a record month. And in my mind, we did. It was the record worst freaking financial month of my life as an adult. But it, I was just like, man, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Because the reality is, is I was over here selling the dream. And if I told her the truth, she wouldn't believe me. Like, really? You're doing that bad? But it was terrible. I wasn't killing it. But I was locked into where I was going in the future, mm-hmm. you know, and, and, and as an entrepreneur, if you want to go somewhere big, you're thinking in the future, right? You're living in today, you're working in the present, but my mentality and my vision was locked in where I was going. 